Pre-recorded on tape, but technically live for our studio audience, it's Shovelware's Brain Game. Wanted in over a dozen different countries, here's your host, it's the Dancing Banana! Shovelware Studios. It's time for your government mandated dance break. Let's dance. <laughs> How many of those government mandated dance breaks do you encounter in Shrunken School Obby? Math Zone You can never have too many toasters! Here's all the ones I could find across the whole studio lot. You might need to unplug some of them to get the lights to stop flickering, but you know what they say, all toasters, toast, toast! What is four times seven? Talking about states. I did it! <laughs> I made it! I finally dug a tunnel all the way to Tahiti! Ah, I'm free! I... Oh, wait. No, I'm back in the studio! Must have made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Yeah. Hey, where is Albuquerque anyway? You can't tell that from down there. I'm up in an enclosed recording booth. No, I, um, well, one thing I should, uh, Excuse me for one second. <laughs> Sports mix. Did you hear Ricky Henderson has stolen over 1,400 bases over his career? I'll bet he's holding them all for ransom or something. <laughs> In baseball, which base is stolen the most often? Ooh, that's no good.
The Power of Music. What instrument is this? Good enough. Nonsense, non sequiturs. Road work ahead. Science rules. It's time for a special guest question. Introducing Bordy the Smart Board. All aboard! It's time for a Bordy question. Look at this diagram of a cell. What is the part in the very center called? It's lit, fam. Here to collect his paycheck, it's Forty the Smart Balls. Uh, my contract clearly stated one question per game, but sure, here's another. <laughs> what a ghastly ghoul. This character appeared in a 1922 silent film that was an unauthorized adaptation of the famous 1897 novel, Dracula. What's the name of this vampire who became famous in his own right? Another question down. See you all later. The power of music. It's the Shrunken School from Shovelware's hit title, Shrunken School Lobby. This immaculately detailed prop was used during the real production of the game, which was created right here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood.
So I'm working on a song and I need a way to connect the verse to the chorus. Huh, if only there was some device I could use in my song to nicely connect that gap. Huh, do you have any idea what that could be? Math Zone! Okay, let's say I have three dozen apples. I realize that's an absolutely absurd number of apples to have on my person, and chuck two dozen out of the window of my car on the way home from Marsha's grocery store, shattering windows and causing extensive property damage. How many apples do I have left in this completely hypothetical scenario? A football chiseled out of stone. Fun for cave persons of all ages. Toss around the old mammoth skin with the whole cave family. This ancient sports ball was discovered recently by the archaeological team we chased away so that we could build our new studio on their dig site. It's even official size. You're this episode's grand champion. That's all the time we have. If anyone needs me, I'll be sleeping in my car until we start filming the next episode. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Friendly Burger. When you're here, you're friendly.